Hello everyone and welcome back to Match Day with Max. I'm here at Charlton Athletic today for the EFL on Quest launch show which has all the clubs up and down, the football league, they come, the fans come, uh, they chat about football and basically talk about the EFL season that's coming ahead. We'll go inside, we'll chat to the fans, presenters, Colin Murray and anyone that's there really. So yeah, follow me. Come on Colin. Come oh, ready. Rolling. All right. I'm I'm here with Colin Murray, <laughs> Ian Holloway and Chris Powell all on the EFL Quest show this year. Yep. We need to get you down to a game at the Seaground all of you sometime yeah. soon. Well, funny enough, unofficially you'll be the first one to know this. Me and that guy there, Pete, he come up, you know Oktoberfest where everyone gets drunk for October? Right. We're going to do a thing called October Quest and we're going to try and spend hopefully the whole month out of the studio. Um, October Quest, October Fest, you see where we're going with yeah, this. Yeah. And we'll be asking the clubs, why should we go to your club that week? What has happened? So you never know, it, it could be Forest. Chris, how do you think Forrest are going to do this season then? It'll be very interesting for them. New man at the helm, again. <laughs> um, so we'll wait and see. You know, They've brought in some good players, but like most teams in the Championship, it's going to be a very, very tough season. Like Chris says, it is a bit of a, uh, a revolving door at the City Ground at the minute. Do you reckon we, <laughs> we could get some stability and do well this season? Um, I hope so. Uh, as I say, I haven't, I haven't been ever so impressed with a club when... Um, you lost the game against my team and you stayed and applauded us mm. and it was in the playoff semi-final so I, I thank you for that it was wonderful but I hope you get success the trouble is I don't think knee jerking and getting rid of managers does it I've mm. got to be honest and Mr Abramovich might argue with you at Chelsea but his, his money helped as well so listen all, all I can say is I hope you get what you want but that's in my opinion not the right way to do it I tipped you last year mm. at the start of season when, when forced, and I said, but only if you keep your manager for the whole season. How many draws did you have in the first 20 games, first 20 I don't know. I mean, it was a ridiculous amount. It wasn't getting thumped every week. It was maybe the fans a little frustrated with maybe not being more in the front foot. The draws that you felt should have been wins in the last half hour should have pushed for three points. And that was the problem. That was the only real problem. So I said it. I would say the same this year as I said last year. You, you could... You could be in the playoffs this year if you keep the same manager and if you have that stability. But the manager, let's talk stability, he's already moved the dugouts. Yeah. He decided he wanted the home and away dugout to be switched, right? Because mm -hmm. he reckons, because you always shoot the same way second half, yeah. he wants to be more near the defenders. In, ca in case Forrest needs to hold on to a, a late minute win, like right. a 1-0, 2-1. Yeah. Or, or because he, yeah, basically to bollock the defenders more than the strikers. <laughs> I love that. But what does that say? It says he's a little unhinged, but it says more importantly he's going to be his own man. Yep. So if it is the answer... It's going to be his way. You're going to know. I don't think he's going to be dip diplomatic about a huge amount in there. So I think he will be giving his head at least. If a guy can go in and move the dugouts, I'm pretty sure he's being honest. And he's pretty much not trying to be hugely democratic, I'd imagine, as a manager if he's doing stuff like that. Let's hope so. Thanks very Is that much, it? Colin. Yeah, you sorry, mate. You talk for about six hours. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to come into the studio this yes, year? Yes, mate. Of course. Good, yeah, good. Can we'll I? Bring it. Yeah, of course. I'm here with some Salford fans. Uh, it's your first season in the football league this this season. Um, and yeah. how do you think it's going to go? Top three. Top three, really. Top three, yeah. Absolutely, all the way. How have the owners done them for you? The class of '92. They've pumped a lot of money into Salford. Well, they have. They built the they built the club, haven't they? Basically, they built the club, give the club for the community, for the city, and they give the city a football league team. And they're building a youth academy that's going to be as good as the Premier League. That's brilliant. Um, I mean, a lot of fans have said that, that Salford have bought the way up the league. D do you disagree with that? or Name your team, the players play for free. Exactly, there yeah, you go. So everyone spends money. Exactly. Granted, we've got better players that have come in for it and the, the contacts that lads have got, they don't necessarily just come for the money. If, if you come there, you're playing with like of Gary Neville, Class of 92, They've got contacts, will get you somewhere else after you finish and when you retire. So there's more to it to attract them down there. I'm here with ex-international Karen Carney. Karen, you only played a few weeks ago and you retired. Was that a bit emotional to do so? Yeah, a little bit. Got a little bit upset. Obviously the last game in the press conference, but um, you get over it, don't you? And life moves on and, you know, you've got new challenges, so good things to look forward to. The Women's uh, World Cup was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. TV figure, uh, viewers, like the amount of viewers the BBC got on it, absolutely amazing. Yeah, it was incredible. I think we broke 
the record for everyone. I think it was the most watched event in the in the UK, beating the men's Champions League. So I think we've got over 12 million people watching the semi-final against USA, which is incredible. And it's the EFL launch show today on Quest. You're a Birmingham fan. Mm. How can you see Birmingham get, get doing? I mean, Gary Monk was sacked a few months ago. Uh, I'm worried. I'm worried if I'm honest. But you know, I think we need a striker. The window's still open for a few more days. We, we desperately need a striker. We've just signed. You know, a midfielder, but I don't think we're short in the midfield areas, if I'm honest. I think we've, we've lost Che, um, Che Adams, Vassal might be off to Luton. So I think we're very short. We've got Djukovic up top, but I think we are quite short within that area. We've got Dan Crowley, who's exciting, but I still think we need another dynamic centre-forward, a quick pacey. Me, I'd love to see Dwight Gale there, but yeah. I think every other person in this room would love Dwight Gale at, at their football club. But um, Apart from me, because he did cheat at Forest, he died for a uh, penalty, so I can't... Well, we'll, we'll, we'll erase that out, but um, you know, I, I still think we're quite short, so I'm worried because you, you, you need a goal scorer, and I, I don't think we've got enough in us. And um, yeah, I want to see, I want us to be a bit working hard in this last couple of days of the window. I'm here with my old mate Theo. How are well, you, mate? Thank you for having me on. No, Appreciate sorry. that. Um, no. First of all, talk us through the situation at Bolton at the moment. It's absolutely crazy. Yeah, well, first of all, I want to say I feel privileged to be on here once again. Lovely new shirt. I rated that pretty yeah, highly. You did. Um, nice. Yeah. Is that, is that Wait, is, is that Sammy Amiobi on the back? No. no. It's, it's Max. Oh. Shocking. Sammy Amiobi is going to score some goals. Oh, right, he's good. He's quality. You'll enjoy him. Um, that's a more positive topic I'd like to talk about right now, but <laughs> it's fine. I know the main topic with Bolton right now is the financial problems and stuff like that, but it's been horrible, man. Like, you're lucky you're not a Bolton fan. You know, I grew up with watching us playing Atletico Madrid in Europe in Europe, and like going on trips like that you know beating them 1-0 and stuff and now to see us being like League 1 again we've be, I've been through the League 1 thing again but this time we don't even have a team and it's, it's literally because of the wages we had big players on massive wages from abroad 10 years ago and now it's all coming to kill us now because we have so many debts from so many different companies local companies around Bolton that are now asking for money and the interest is rising so we've got a crazy amount of debt no owners come rich enough to come into the club and just pay it all off and when our sadly rest in peace Eddie Davis who sadly passed away our owner um, it was really hard to pay off the debts because it went into his name of his son and I don't think they were willing to pay it off like Eddie was going to mm -hmm. or at least it was planned to so it became an absolute mess and obviously Ken Anderson didn't do, do us any favours of, of not putting any money in and every every bit of money he put in he then is trying to get back now he's trying to sue the club mm -hmm. or like just try and get back the money he put in which is a joke um, literally um, it's, it's horrible man I could go on for ages about it but at least you got Sammy. At least you got Sammy, all right? Can you see a way out of it next season in League One? Do you think you could be fighting for relegation, mid-table, um, promotion? I mean, the first aim is relegation, isn't it? avoiding relegation. I think if we can get taken over um, before the game on Saturday, it's all mad, and it? it all comes down to this. Like We've got to get taken over. We've got to release a kit. We have to release season tickets. We have to release tickets to future games. We have to buy players. We have to loan players. We have to, um, we have to get the fans in the ground. We've got 2,000... Um, allocation for Wickham Wanderers away first game of the season and we've nearly sold it out that just shows how it's mad how which is absolutely the crazy fans. there's not they can't even buy a season ticket we've still sold those tickets and, and I, I can remember when they came to Forest last game of the season they're yeah. excellent stood up clapped all the yeah, Forest yeah, yeah. players we gave them a warm welcome and they were they were brilliant as well but just quickly all to all the Bolton fans and everybody associated with Bolton I hope it works out and let's just thank hope, you very much let's just hope you find we've got to give the same to Bury as well they're in a more difficult yes, situation they are they don't have the proof of funds that we had to play our first match which so Bury are the real ones you've got to be going after but obviously Bolton's really sad as well but yeah it's it's horrible that these things happen hopefully the EFL can step in and sort it out you know um, anyway Sammy Amiobi will get the oh, goal yeah. we'll get the golden boot this season oh really yeah <laughs> hopefully <laughs> Cheers, I'm mate. guessing seven goals for you this year yeah. seven goals come on you Reds six assists come on you Reds Come on, come on, you red. Come on, you whites. <laughs> I'm here with Mansfield fan Cameron. Cameron, um, talk to me about Mansfield at the moment. You missed out last season in the playoff semi final. Do you reckon it could do well this season? You've got, is it John, the new uh, manager? Uh, John Dempster, uh, youth team coach. So it's like, it's his first professional role in the job. So it's hard to judge. Not got the experience, but so far in pre season. It's been decent. Uh, quality players bringing in the likes of Nicky Maynard. Fair enough, obviously. Tyler Walker came back to yourselves. Uh, hopefully, he gets a look in this season. I'm here with Tykes TV Barnsley fan. How can you see Barnsley doing in the Championship this season returning? Um, well, it's nice to be back in Championship. Um, I think anywhere, anywhere above 20th, I'll, be, I'll take that. I think most fans would take anywhere above that. 
Few, see, few people seem to think we'll go straight back down. You never know, do you? It's odds. You don't really pay no attention to odds. But I think mid-table would be fairly, fairly decent place to put us.